Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I'm starting this vlog a little bit later in the day. It is currently 12.20 on September the 18th. And yeah, as I said, I'm starting it a little bit later. I actually had intended to sit down today and film a makeup tutorial, but I don't know, it's just such a beautiful day today. I wanna get out of the house. I've been stuck inside all week. And also I do apologize that the lighting is changing so quickly right now. As I said, it's a beautiful day. It's like a nice spring day where there's like a cool breeze outside. The sky is blue, but there's a couple of clouds around. So I'm kind of thinking that it might rain later on, but I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But anyways, as I said, yeah, it's 12.20. I'm actually about to head out for lunch. We are going to be taking ourselves out on a date today. This is just something that I like to do from time to time where I will treat myself and take myself out on a date. You guys know that I'm in a relationship and even though it is long distance, regardless of whether you're in a long distance relationship or if you're in a regular relationship or if you're not in a relationship at all, I think it is very important to treat yourself and take yourself out on dates. And it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, even if you just like go out and grab some lunch by yourself, take yourself out for dinner. That's typically what I like to do is I'll treat myself to like a lunch or a dinner, even a brunch here or there. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm actually craving sushi. I've been craving sushi all week and I figured that Today, instead of staying in, I would go out and do that. So yeah, we're gonna head out now. But before I do, I guess I will show you guys my outfit of the day. I apologize for all the mess that's going on in the background. I actually need to change my sheets at some point today. But um, yeah, this is today's OOTD, really basic, casual. The shorts are coming out, you guys, which means that it is getting warmer outside. But this is like basically a loungewear set. This was actually from Fashion Nova. Those of you guys who watch any of my Fashion Nova hauls would probably remember this one, but it's like this really cute short set with like the knitted t shirt and matching shorts. And I feel like they're not short enough to where you can't wear it out of the house because obviously if they were like short booty shorts I wouldn't be wearing it out of the house but I mean I feel like I can get away with wearing this out of the house and it's really comfy, cozy, casual, cute and as you guys can see just wearing it with my regular degular sneakers <laughs> I've gotten questions about like what these sneakers are and where they're from. They're just basic Air Force Ones, which everyone in the mum currently is rocking. Um, and you can pretty much find them at any sneaker store. So yeah, nothing too crazy with those shoes. But yeah, that is what I'm wearing today. Also, <laughs> I had someone comment on my last video saying that they're a new subscriber and they don't get like why I have my sneakers like not laced up whenever I show you guys my OOTDs and that's because typically I'm about to head out the door right and I'm about to drive and I know it's weird but driving my car because I drive stick I like to be able to really feel the clutch when I'm changing gears and I just feel like with my car I need to take my shoes off or I need to at least take this shoe off so that I can like do that so that is why You'll always see me start off the vlogs, typically with my sneakers not laced up, purely for that reason. I know it's weird. It's strange. I've spoken about it before. I can drive an automatic car with shoes on, but when it comes to my manual car, I need to take at least one of them off. So that's the story behind that. Also for accessories, you guys know this has been my current fave lately. The tiny little delicate padded lock gold necklace and then I'm also wearing my regular piercings these ones never come out like I sleep with them in and I have no problem with that but my earrings are from Levisa same with the necklace if you guys missed that my necklace is from Levisa as well but my necklace my earrings sorry are also from Levisa and they're just like these little huggy type earrings with some dangly things on them. I don't know what to call them, but um, yeah, I love these pieces because they are gold plated, which means that they don't tarnish as easily as that of like regular costume jewelry, if you guys know what I mean. You know when you go and buy like earrings or necklaces or accessories in general that aren't as expensive, but they look cute, but half the time you'll notice that they do tend to go green or tarnish easily or fade, but these ones, they don't do that, so that's why I like them. But anyways, I am going to head out for my little lunch date now, and you guys are going to come along with me.
on the back, she on top now. She used to wanna be, but she not now. She used to wanna be with you, but nigga not now. It's kinda funny how she put herself a lot like that. And now you talking that blah blah blah. Fuck with yeah, all of that la la la. Give it to her, ready to spin da da da. And now you wanna act all blah 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 blah. blah. Pretty sure I haven't checked in with you guys since I left the house this morning but as you saw I went out for lunch and I also went to the mall to go and pick up some books and then I did a little bit of window shopping I guess you could say but the main reason why I came to this specific mall is because I wanted to get some of these donuts so let me show you these real quick I feel like this lighting is not doing them justice so I'll probably show you them when I get home but I have been wanting to try these so I came here and I literally had to wait like an hour because they didn't have any more of these ones and that's a specific one that I wanted to try so we are gonna eat that when we get home but yes right now it is currently 4 30 I am about to head home I don't really know what I have planned for the rest of my evening it is a Friday today my brother mentioned something about going to eat street but I don't know if it is actually open considering that they've been closed for quite some time due to the current world situation but i think they're doing like a drive through kind of thing at the moment so i don't know if i'm gonna go to that tonight but i'll let you guys know but for the time being i'm gonna head home. i just got home and look at the sky outside i don't know what happened it was like while i was in the mall everything got super cloudy it's seriously only 5 30 and there's just clouds. I think it rained while I was out today, but I didn't even realize. But anyways, as I said, I'm home now and I want to show you guys these donuts. Now you guys can actually see them properly. So the one on the left is New York cheesecake and the one on the right is, oh damn it, I can't remember what it's called. Something Biscoff, like white Biscoff, I can't remember. Something to do with like cookie butter, but that's the one that I wanted to try. They actually didn't have any when I went there an hour earlier and they said if you can like hang around for an hour, we'll put one aside for you. But when I came back an hour later, the fresh batch had just come out, so I didn't miss out. But this one right here is the whole reason why I went to this specific mall because I really wanted to try this donut. Um, but if you're wondering, they are from Brooklyn Donut and Coffee Co. So... Yeah, I'm excited. I do love donuts. So while I waited for an hour for that donut, I ended up wandering around and I picked up a few things. So let me show you guys what I bought today. I actually needed to go specifically to Priceline to pick up this, the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. Now this is actually what I use as my conditioner. Even though it is a like hair repair mask, honestly, I've used this for years and i haven't had any issues with it so this is what i use essentially as a hair conditioner and typically i buy like the big tub of this but for over a month now there hasn't been any stock in any of the stores or online so i was like okay i guess i'm gonna have to just buy it in this form which is fine because to be honest i don't really use that much since my hair is so short and i only condition obviously the ends a little goes a long way so I only really need like a pea-sized amount and yeah I feel like this is gonna last me a long time anyway and then I did pick up some of this now this is something that I've used well wow, like since I was like 17 over 10 years now but I kind of stopped using it in the past few years however I decided to pick one up because I have a couple of stubborn scars on my face, particularly one on my chin. There's like a dark mark left behind from a pimple, which hasn't gone away for like a month. And that's pretty unusual for me. So I picked up this. This is the Invite E Pure Vitamin E Oil. Now, I used to use this religiously as like a 17, 18 year old. I'd put it on my lips, on my acne scars, on my lashes even. Really great for all those things. But yeah, as you can see down the bottom, it says assists cellular, wow, that's really hard to say. Assists cellular regeneration helps nourish and protect new cell growth for dry and damaged skin and it helps control skin aging. So yeah, I decided to pick one of these up because it's been a minute since I have used it. And I remember that it did me really good when I did used to use it. But if you're looking for 100% pure vitamin E oil, I'd recommend this one. I also went to the bookstore and I picked up two books actually. I'd intended to go out and buy 
this one as my next read. As you can see, this is The Alchemist, a very popular book that has been widely recommended by many people. And it ain't a big read, so I feel like I could probably finish this like over the weekend, but I've been meaning to pick this up for a while and I finally found it in stores. And then while I was there, this is another book that I've actually been meaning to pick up for like over a year, I'm pretty sure. Um, but this is Who Says You Can't, You Do. And this one is a little more detailed. I feel like this is going to be one of those books that I like will read and attack with a highlighter. Whereas this is going to be a bit of an easier read. So yeah, the reason why I picked this up is because it was on sale, literally. I was like, well, I guess it's a sign that I should get it. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. And then I also went to Kmart, which I hadn't even intended to get any of these things. But it happens every single time, doesn't it? So I bought myself this humongous beach bag because I was planning to go to the beach this week, but I didn't make time to. So I might do that next week. Since it is getting quite a bit more warmer lately, I feel like I could go to the beach, just chill out, read, that kind of thing. And I feel like this bag was perfect. It was only 12 bucks, super spacious. I can fit so much in here. And it's like that type of material that's really easy to clean off and like brush off of any sand before you throw it into the back of your car so that's always good as well and i do like the print too and then i got these containers i i know i didn't even intend to buy these but they're on sale they were three bucks so i was like well i have been meaning to organize my under the sink space in my bathroom but i just haven't made the time to and these kind of jumped out at me and i figured that they would be good for that so Perhaps later on this evening, I will try and organize that and show you guys. But anyways, right now I'm just gonna chill out for a bit, kind of tidy up, cause my bed right now. I need to put all of this stuff away properly, so I'll be back. I don't know if you guys can hear it right now, but it's still raining outside. It got really heavy for a second there. I have my balcony door open so I can like feel it. I love listening to the sound of the rain. But anyways, I already had my dinner. I just had leftover pasta, so that's why I have nothing to show you guys. I'm pretty sure I didn't cook anything for you guys today, which would be a first in one of my vlogs. But I just had Fresh Prince playing in the background while I was like cleaning, doing my own thing. If you guys didn't know, Fresh Prince of Bella is actually my favorite show of all time. I'm pretty sure I've watched every episode countless times and I'm so happy that it's on Netflix. But yeah, typically I'll put it on like as background noise, but sometimes I'll like sit and watch it. Just depends how I feel. I like having like noise in the background whenever I'm doing things. But what I thought I would do right now is eat these babies because I have been holding off so that I can try them with you guys. I feel like this lighting looks really weird right now, but anyways, we're gonna eat these donuts. I'm so excited you guys. If you could smell it, it smells so good. Like, so delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it smells amazing. Like, I literally wish you guys could smell these. Right now. Can you tell how excited I am about freaking donuts? It's been a while, okay? I haven't had a donut, like any type of donut for ages, so I'm pretty excited for these. Um, which one do I want to try first? I think I'll try the the cheesecake one. I didn't actually realize that these were ugh, as big as they are. So that's how she looks. She got the cheesecake base crumbs on top. Oh, okay. I didn't actually realize that it's like cut in half and it's got filling as well. Cause typically like donuts with filling would be like a donut without a hole, but that's cool different but anyways let's see how it tastes oh my god yes i love cheesecake so this is gonna be good mm. wow wow okay that's good it's actually not like do i have any of my lips Probably. Anyways, it's not that sweet. Like, it tastes... I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's sweet, but it's not, like, sickly sweet where you're like, oh, damn, I couldn't I couldn't finish that. Like, I feel like I could probably eat this whole thing right now. Mmm. Honestly, though, it's big. Like, I feel like I need a knife and a fork to eat this. <laughs> that is very crummy. As in, like, the crumbs on top. It tastes so good. 
sorry i'm just trying to get the crumbs off my lips in case that annoys any of you guys but let's go ahead and try the biscoff i don't actually know like what biscoff tastes like what cookie butter tastes like so um yeah i'm intrigued by what it even tastes like i mean the outside is just white chocolate so we know what that tastes like but i've never tried biscoff so how do i do this you guys it's huge it's like honestly this is the size of like a mcdonald's burger legit okay let's just go for it Did I even get any cookie butter in that bite? I don't think so. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Now I get why everyone likes this flavor. So there we have the filling inside. And this stuff, you guys. Wow, okay. Yeah, I've never had, <laughs> I, I want to call it a Biscoff, but I don't think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, I don't know about this stuff. I don't eat Biscoff, I don't know. I don't really get to have many like sweet treats or desserts or anything like that. So this is like a big fat treat for me, legit. I don't know if I could finish this all, but I feel like I want to because <laughs> it tastes so good. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get myself a knife to be honest you guys if anything this is weird oh my god let me just clean my lips off before i say anything more anyways i think i need to get myself like a knife and fork for this because it's that hard to eat weird fact about me is that i actually do prefer even crispy cream donuts i will cut them with a knife i can't like i don't know i'm one of those weird people that eats things in a weird way like i have a specific way to eat a kit kat i have a specific way to eat a ferrero rocher and i also have a specific way to eat donuts i like to cut them up into bite-sized pieces like i need to cut it up bite-sized pieces savor it enjoy it like i don't like to struggle when it comes to eating sweets like i want to savor it i love sweets you guys doesn't matter what kind of donut it is if it's like a warm cinnamon donut i even like to cut it up with a knife yeah i don't know that's just the way i am but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and make myself a cup of tea and get myself a knife and we'll see if i can finish these donuts tonight all right so we are back in the space underneath my sink in my bathroom and i'm gonna try and attempt to figure out how to organize this the problem with this space is that like it's pretty spacious actually there's a lot of cupboard space but the pipe is like in the way obviously i can't move that and it's not like it's like in the way and it's just in one spot it takes up like half of the space underneath the sink so I need to figure out how I'm going to maneuver around that but typically I would have it pretty organized but at the moment it's not looking like that at all like I've got spare products old products that I'd have to throw out probably but I'm gonna go ahead and try and empty this out and then we have to see how these are going to fit into there and whether I'm gonna have to go and get some more but as you can tell these are kind of flexible like they're not stiff plastic, they're like flexy, which is good. But as you can see, I do have just this random storage box down here, but it's so tall that I can't even see half the products that are in there. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is take everything out of here and then pretty much start from scratch. Guys, this is my progress so far, and I say so far because I think I wanna get another, like two more of those buckets because they can actually fit like side by side deep as they can wide so i think i want to get two more obviously to put here and here and one can have like this stuff and then i'm thinking of getting one for cleaning supplies because i kind of just put the cleaning supplies lined up along there like on the side but i don't know it's looking a little bit cluttered for me still but if i take like everything out of the way you can see that everything is nice and put away so in this tub i have like extra hair products that i don't generally use but if i ever need them they're there like dry shampoo heat protectant hairspray that kind of thing 
and then I just have some appliances. Is that what you call them? Like beauty appliances. So I have one of those pore vacuums and a facial steamer. And then in this one, we have extra backups of like Q-tips, makeup wipes, which I generally don't really use anymore. And um, my retainer case, case for my electric toothbrush, more baby wipes, loofers, that kind of thing. So yeah that's the progress so far if you're wondering why i keep all of my stuff down here even stuff that i use on the regular like obviously i use this regularly i use these regularly and i use like my moisturizers regularly is because i don't like having stuff like up on the counter i try and keep that to a minimum so typically when I'm doing my night routine, morning routine, whatever it may be, it's really easy for me to just flip open these doors and then just like grab my body oil if I need it or grab a pump of my moisturizer or grab my mouthwash. Like it's just easier for me to keep everything here because it's easily accessible. It's just that it does tend to get a little bit cluttered in that sense. So yeah, that's how everything's looking so far. I'll just put this back here because that's an extra of my body wash. But yeah, I think that is as good as it's going to get. I probably will want to take, I'm actually thinking that I'm just going to get a storage bucket to keep my cleaning supplies in somewhere else. But yeah, at least it's looking better than it was before. I mean, it was concealed before, but now it's like concealed and organized. Update, I took out all of the cleaning supplies that were along the side there and now we're left with this. So I think I'm just gonna leave it as this. I don't think I'm gonna go and get two more of those buckets. So yeah, I'm happy that that is all nice and clean and sorted now. I don't know what it is with me tonight, but I am in a major like cleaning mood but the reason why i'm showing you my rug is because i don't think i had ever washed it and i've had this for like a couple of years but in saying that i do a pretty good job at keeping white things white whether that be like furniture sheets pillows anything you guys know that i have a lot of white in my home but i saw this thing on tiktok that said if you wash these rugs and then they get like um, a little bit like bunched up if that makes sense like it doesn't look fluffy anymore to use a brush to like brush it through and then it'll become like nice and fluffy again right well wrong I don't know what it is maybe I don't have the right brush maybe I'm missing something here but it like I don't know you guys can see how it like doesn't look nice and fluffy anymore I took a risk and I washed it and it reminds me of like when you wash your dog <laughs> and when they first get out and their fur is like a little bit damp still it looks like that so yeah I've literally been sitting here trying to like brush it out and make it look fluffy again but it's not working so if you guys have any suggestions for me let me know I mean it doesn't look that bad, but it was like different before. I literally feel like a crazy woman. Like I've been sitting here brushing my rug. <laughs> I'm also currently just waiting for the new iOS to download. My internet right now is currently struggling because I'm like out here watching Netflix, uploading a YouTube video and trying to download this update on my phone. But it says it's going to take about an hour. Okay, well that's an improvement because 10 minutes ago it said three hours. So hopefully before I finish this vlog, oh, 58 minutes. <laughs> As I was saying, hopefully before I sign off on this vlog, we can kind of go through it together because yeah, I've been waiting for this. But yeah, I'm currently just waiting for that to download and also kind of watching and listening to Fresh Prince as well. And I also have the last bit of my Taha candle burning. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this one anymore because I mean, I love it, but you guys know how it is. Now that summer is coming, I feel like this is more of a winter scent. Okay, it's nearly midnight and it literally took like over an hour to download this update. But I feel like, I don't know, am I missing something? I feel like I, oh, I noticed the tiniest things, like that's a different font. The hands of the clock are a little more bold, so that is interesting. But one thing that I did notice is that 
I thought that like this was going to be gone and then it was going to be replaced with this but that you could like name the folders yourself just like you can over here I don't know, am I missing something? I saw this thing before that had like pages Here's the first page too, like the little like the little when you slide across thing um I don't know, I don't know if I like this because I tried to see like if my airpods would show up, which they do but I liked it better when you could actually see like the percentage now it just shows you like the around about type of thing whereas like I have my old phone here right so as you can see it actually shows the percentage of like what's available whereas this is just like oh it's about this much <laughs> which is like I wish they would include like the little percentage underneath that's just my only thing I don't know maybe I need to play around with it kind of figure it out let me know what you guys think though Anyways, I feel like I look really tired right now. My makeup today looks weird as heck. I don't know what is going on with it. I feel like whenever I wash my makeup brushes and they're freshly cleaned, I don't know, it was something about like my daily makeup routine. It just doesn't look as good. Does anyone else feel that? Obviously I wash my brushes on a regular basis, but I always feel like that first day when they're freshly washed and there's no product on them, my makeup application is like, weird i do apologize but i have to cut this vlog short because as i said my camera's flashing at me today's lesson of the vlog i don't even know what i want to call this little bit at the end of my vlogs but today's little message basically goes along the lines of you don't need anybody else to be happy and i know that's really broad to say obviously we all know this but there's this one quote that i used to say to myself all the time and it's that nothing can hurt you more than yourself and i know that sounds kind of weird but it's like whatever happens to you whatever you go through in your life your reaction to it comes from yourself like yes bad things happen but how you choose to deal with those things is entirely up to you which is why i bring that back to the fact that you don't need anybody to be happy like sure we want people in our lives who add to our happiness who contribute to that but at the end of the day and the beginning of the day the quality and value that we put into our lives is entirely up to ourselves but yeah that's like a quote that i used to say to myself all the time is that nothing can hurt you more than yourself like if something bad happens to you your thoughts that come from that all come from here it's all about your mind and your mindset and i know that's obviously give and take in certain situations and we can blame things for making us feel a certain way but at the end of the day it really does come from ourselves and our mind and what our mind ultimately makes us feel i don't know if that's too deep to be talking about but that is something that has resonated with me for a long time and it's something that i sometimes forget about like when i go through things but then i have to bring myself around again and realize like yeah nothing can hurt me more than i can hurt myself because it really does start and end with mindset so yeah on that note i'm gonna end this vlog off i hope you guys enjoyed this random little vlog today but yeah as always i hope you guys are staying safe looking after yourselves and looking out for each other and i will talk to you guys in the comments and i'll see you all in my next video